Thomas Lamar, is he actually any good and could he go to Liverpool? <laughs> He's very good and he, he, he could go to Liverpool. I think they've clearly have identified him as the replacement for Philippe Coutinho. The thing is, right now, as of today, Monaco haven't received any offer from, from Liverpool or for, for Arsenal, who are also interested in, in Lemar to replace Alexis Sanchez when he does go. And for Monaco, their position is pretty simple. They say it makes no sense for us to sell now. Our strategy is not to sell our big name players. In January, we wait for the summer where we can get more money for them, especially when it's a World Cup year. If France win the World Cup with Lemar as a starter, his price will go up 30 or 40 or 50 mm. million euros, you know, just after the World Cup. So for them, they're saying it makes no sense. If Liverpool come with, with a huge offer that they can't say no, of course they won't say no and they'll take it. And I still think that Lemar would do great at Liverpool and that club would be a perfect coach for him to improve even more and become an even better player. But right now Monaco is saying we've got nothing, we receive nothing and it's not our strategy to sell him now. How huge is huge, Julian? How big an offer would you think needs to be made to turn Monaco's head? Well, they, they rejected 90 million from Liverpool wow. in the summer and they would have accepted the 100 million from Arsenal but Lemar said no. So you would think that six months later, they would want a little bit more for someone who's now established himself with the French national team, which was not the case six months ago. Someone who has a bit more experience, who, you know, played in the Champions League, for example, not very well, but still did with Monaco and, yeah, and he's a French champion. So I think around 120 and wow. some bonuses. Huh? And it's a crazy so, amount for Julie, someone I, like I him. Know, I know it's a redundant but question. There's nothing but, else. But, but, but considering the way the market's going, is he worth 120 million? You, you've seen him play more than any of us. No, I don't think he's worth that. But I don't think Dembele was worth 150 either. And Barcelona came and paid that amount of money. So I think, I think we, we should not look at it. Is, there, is he worth that or is not worth that? Monaco yeah. said no to 90. They would accept 100 last summer. I wouldn't be surprised if now, and especially after the World Cup, if he plays well in the World Cup, they go back and said anything under 120 don't even come to us. That's the way they do, and, and they sell very well. So, you know, it'd be interesting to see the development of this one. That 140 million or whatever plus isn't going to go very far, is it? And the it's old, incredible. The old shopping basket. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's, it's, are you okay? Absolutely. Are you, are you, okay? you, know, you turned down 90 million for a guy <laughs> who's done it in League 1 and by Julian's own admission, didn't do very well in the Champions League and it's going to cost you over £100 million. Well, you just paid £75 million for a centre-half from Southampton. <laughs> and, and did I say that I thought that was the right price? No, I didn't, but it's just <laughs> mental. It's absolutely mental. It is. <laughs> Should they push it? Should they put all the eggs in the Lamar basket? Well, you don't watch your choice, have they? I mean... Everybody's worth that. Everybody seems to be worth that at the moment. You go... Any Premier League club yep. goes to anybody now and it's... If you're a really good player... It's three figures. You're over 100 million. And the problem, the problem Liverpool have, and every other club has, is if you don't pay it, then you're either going to stay the way you are or go the wrong way. So you're forced into to spending money that normally you wouldn't do. Well, if you don't pay it, somebody else will. It, and that. So, so it just becomes, you know, we're saying it's crazy money. It just becomes insane that regardless of what it is, just take them. Because if we don't, somebody else will. So just get it done. This is really it's painful madness. for you. This is painful for you. I can sense the, guy, the pain. Listen, the guy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the <laughs> speak, man. Speak. <laughs> What's happened? <laughs> speak. You're okay. On. Hey, At least right. Coutinho okay. has like has got two, uh, three seasons behind him of excellence that I still think you're paying over the odds for. Right? What's Lamar got? They're going to have to pay close to the money that Coutinho went for. But Julian's but right, though. If, if, if France Gunner. win the World Cup with him in the starting we 11... La we, laugh, we laugh at Neymar now because he's taking the mickey out of Ligue 1, sticking boots on his head and <laughs> just generally, I mean, having a laugh because it's that easy. We thought Pogba was expensive at 89 or whatever it was. Yeah. And he, you know, because the guy's playing the Champions League finals and... I mean, it, it, it can't continue. Uh, meanwhile, yeah, just can't. meanwhile, obviously Liverpool are the big talking team because of what happened and that sell to Coutinho, Julian. Um, Riyad Mahrez, another player uh, that has been linked. Any chance of this happening? I saw Arsenal link with him as well. Yeah, and he wants to go. Obviously, he was very close to, to going to Ice Roma in the summer. It didn't happen because the two clubs couldn't find an agreement, but he was ready to go. Uh, 
It's an interesting one. He's, he's, a, he's a cheaper option than, than someone like Lemar, for example. He's a bit older, obviously. But like Stevie said, the, the experience that Lemar doesn't have in the Premier League, Mares has it. And, and he's proven that, you know, he's a success in England, for example. So it he, he, surely be the, not just the least expensive, but the less risky option as well. It might not be for some people as good as Lemar. Uh, could be at his age, but he's still a very good player and I think he would do very well in this Liverpool team. Uh, who would you have, Julian, out of interest? I would go for Lemar still, despite, despite the shoes. Uh, it's a silly really question. Think he's a special talent. No, no, no. <laughs> Mahrez, Mahrez is, uh, is a Paris-born and bred kid like me, so I love Mahrez as well, although he doesn't play for France, but he's a Parisian too. But I still think Lemar is a very, very special player.